And besides, the world's attention had suddenly shifted to Iraq. Well, it isn't news that the Americans want our people to go to Iraq. Everybody knew that. The more interesting point is they were telling me that they wanted to go to Iraq. They wanted to show to the Americans, to the world, to Canadians, that they were also strong warriors. My staff, Gene Lang, was approached by the U.S. military attaché and said that Rumsfeld would really like it if I could go and see him. It was quite an extraordinary meeting because we had been under the impression that the Americans wanted to talk to us principally about their thinking on Iraq. And the minute we got into the meeting, he described a country in terms that could only be Canada, but without saying the name Canada, and said this was the country that we really needed to have commanding ISAF in Kabul. And I was quite taken aback because I was expecting pressure on Iraq. And then I said to him, well, you know, if we go to Kabul, we won't have any soldiers left for Iraq. And he said, well, that's okay, I know. So that certainly gave me a lot of ammunition to push with the government to go to ISAF. If, if, you, if you're the leader of the village, then you obviously must know who's coming in and out of your village. So you know exactly where the murder happened, and you should know exactly who did it. You know who doesn't belong in your village, you know who does. So I can ask you again, who are the ones who did this? Quick question, uh, in regards to what you were doing here with that gentleman uh, earlier, what's the purpose of what you're trying to do through this village? Uh, what we want to do with this village basically is to create a good rapport so that uh, we basically want to interact with the villagers and have them come to us with information that could possibly lead to uh, uh, any sort of weapons caches, uh, Taliban activity, Taliban locations, that sort of stuff. So it's important for them to see us, and our mere presence in this area is actually going to disrupt a lot of what the Taliban is trying to do and create. Do you suspect right now that there are Taliban in this village? In my personal opinion, yes, I would say so. Uh, matter of fact, I would say that most of the places we go to, they are there. So we could potentially be talking to a lot of guys who, in a few days from now, will be taking up arms against us. Finished objective one. Yeah. I want to, Roger. We finished objective one now. We're going to carry on with objective two now. One, two, okay, Andy, you can handle these. We wish we could tell you whether Canada will be part of whatever military action is taken against Iraq. The Americans are officially asking that question was tonight. Five weeks ago, and the US when sent we Canada a note asking what contributions Ottawa, we might make to a war effort. Now you would expect that to top the agenda when Defense Minister McCall Canada's official position on war against Iraq. The Canadian position is that. On matter of peace and security, the international community must speak and act through the UN security. I understood in my discussions that the concentration was to be in Afghanistan. Suddenly, the emphasis became Iraq. 